Okay, uh, I'm Shu Peng, and the other two speakers, uh, Xing Ruwu and Jie Gao, uh, we came from Baidu Security Lab. Uh, uh, today our topic is uh, a new ways of IPv6 scanning. Okay. First, we will introduce the basic knowledge of IPv6 address and the process of obtaining address. Then to introduce several IPv6 related risks we found and the method of quickly scanning and address. We will introduce how to explore and attack vulnerabilities after obtaining large number of IPv6 addresses through several examples. At last, some safety suggestions and the summary will be given. Uh, IPv6 uh, uses 128 bits as the address, mainly to solve the problem of insufficient uh, in network address. Uh, it uh, uses stateless address auto, uh, auto configuration, which is more convenient for networking. Uh, using smaller and faster uh, routing tables, uh, because there are enough addresses, it is no longer needed, and the point-to-point -point communication is more convenient. Uh, since it uh, uses a random address, there will be no address scanning problem, so it uh, seems more secure. But uh, is that uh, really true? Uh, we know that most of all vulnerabilities are imp implemented through port access, such as the uh, interview blue vulnerabilities. We can get the control of Windows system by, by just uh, sending a packet to port 135 and uh, 445. Uh, servers on the internet also listen to pause, but uh, because they often update security patches and uh, set firewalls, the risk seems to be uh, getting lower and lower, and the now scanning IPv6 addresses is becoming easier and faster. You can scan all IP address in five minutes, so now there are fewer and fewer vulnerabilities uh, can be applied exploited on the internet. But the mobile phones, the PCs, IoT devices, most of, of them under the local network or uh, under 4G, uh, under a home broadband. Band. Uh, they may have a large number of different uh, vulnerabilities, but we cannot access them from the internet. However, IPv6 allows uh, the port uh, to be accessed directly and uh, remotely. So, uh, if uh, so, if you are a security researcher, this is a very effective remote attack method. However, the IPv6 address is long enough to scan. If you could scan uh, 1 million address every second, it would take about uh, half a million years to scan just uh, for 64 bits. And it's also a security feature of IPv6. Uh, let's analyze the scanning method that uh, uh, security research, uh, researchers have found. For example, the IPv6 address is obtained uh, by traversing low bit addresses. There are usually uh, some servers and uh, gateway devices, which are configured based on the convenience of administrator man management. Generate IPv6 uh, access according to the manufacturer's in information uh, characteristics of MAC address. But the effect is very poor. Normal mobile phones and the smart devices uh, address with the vulnerabilities can be scanned. So, uh, the new and the effective IP address scanning, uh, uh, the new and the effective IP address scanning method are uh, urgently needed. Before studying the new scanning method, let's look at how the devices obtain the IPv6 address. This picture shows uh, the process process of mobile phone accessing internet through 4G. We captured on the Pixel 4. First, broadcast SMP, NS, and NA messages each other to obtain the other party's link address. 
It's like getting the MAC address uh, through ARP uh, for one-to-one -one communication. The operator uh, returns the first uh, uh, 64 bits prefix address and the DNS address. At the last, uh, the device uh, generates a complete address according to the prefix address and uh, notifies uh, the router. Uh, in 5G, 4G uh, network, the, the operator will assign a random 64 uh, prefix to the mobile phone. The mobile phone uses letterless configuration to generate a complete 128-bit access address and notify the operator. The broadband is similar to the mobile phone. The GPON device may obtain a 64-bit prefix from operator or obtain a 60-bit prefix, which is convenient for the low, lower layer router uh, to continue to allocate a 64-bit prefix. Uh, in some special cases, a small number of operators uh, are not assigned the only prefix in the world due to the limited address segments. This is very convenient for address management and the routing management in different regions of operators. So expect for some special cases, most operators will assign a global unicast address or called the GUA. Our research found that if constructed some special SMP packet and uh, the first uh, 64 bit prefix is correct, the device will return the full IPv6 address. This may change the IPv6 scanning from 128 bit burst to 64 bit burst. If we can get the correct prefix too, uh, the IPv6 address scanning will be possible. Of course, we did. Uh, now, now let's assume, uh, to uh, assume introduces the risks we have found. Uh, next, let my colleague introduce the risks we have found. Okay, next I will tell the risk and the new scanning methods. After analyzing Android, iPhone, Windows, and other systems, we found that if the prefix fix address is known and the last 16-4-bit random address is unknown, the full address can be obtained by citing some special SMP packets. This problem affects multiple operating systems. Let's learn more about it through the video.
Okay, as we can see from the video and the at the table, uh, multiple operating systems are affected, including almost all operating systems. At the same time, Android system and embedded Linux system seem to have the greatest impact. For example, Risk one affects all Android devices, and there is no need to turn on hot spots and other conditions. Risk five needs to turn on forwarding, but many routing devices turn on forwarding themselves. Now we take Risk one as an example to introduce the principle of vulnerability triggering and how to scan large numbers of devices. After the SIM card is in, inserted into the mobile phone, the mobile phone establishes a link through the point-to-point -point protocol and then sends the neighbor discovery package and obtains the prefix package. Now it can connect to the internet normally. MacBook pin with the correct prefix and let them last 64 bit. Operator checks the routing table according to the unique prefix and sends it to Perks uh, Perks for. Then the mobile phone receives the packet and looks at the routing table. There is no for a advice. Generally speaking, each operating system will not respond to this package, but the Android system will intelligently return an SAMP on the on the table. The destination address is the address to send the pin, and the source address is the IPv6 address of a point-to-point -point protocol interface. We now seem to have a way to obtain the last 16-4-bit address through a SAMP request. But what about the first 16-4-bit? How can we get this? We found that the first 16 for addresses are regularly regular, and the operators usually divide the addresses according to regions, such as different operators have different privacies, different cities, different districts, and countries. We can see from the figure that different bits represent different operators, net networks tap, privacies, and cities. So the first 16 four bits of IPv6 are very focused. Therefore, we don't need a wide scan. Scan a non-existent address with an existing Tor. Don't return ICMP replay and don't and do not display. We can use T Shark and TCP dump to monitor, which is why this problem has not been found. And how to scan quickly. We must use faster stateless scanning, set SAMP packets faster enough. I recommend using FI6S scanning tools. It can easily set which bits need to be scanned. We use a YGB network card server to run FI6S program, which can achieve the speed of 1.5 millipickets per second. The destination of target network segment is a very important problem because IPv6 allocates too many network segments, some of which are very large and few are in use. Here are some methods to collect effective IPv6 network segments. This video shows the scanning results of some network segments, such as China, Russia, Tailored, and Singapore. Now we can see the video.
next let uh, let my colleague uh, introduce the other risk cases. Now, Shu Peng, it's your time. Uh, the risk two is only affects on Android. When hotspot port enabled on Android devices, uh, device the local DNS service will start, and uh, uh, it will cause the address or uh, hotspot interface became shorter. Only eight bits or its latter uh, sixteen four bits are valid. So if uh, risk one is fixed and uh, the network prefix is known. Uh, the shortened IPv6 address can still be obtained through uh, brute force cracking in a few seconds. Uh, the risk two is only affect on uh, the risk three uh, is only affected on Android two because Android uses UI sixty four uh, to generate IPv6 address. So uh, when Android devices connect to internet through Wi-Fi, we just need to brute force uh, sixteen uh, to twenty four bits and then get the full address. Uh, when the request prefix, uh, prefix is correct, uh, the packet is uh, routed to the mobile phone of 4G router. And uh, if we try to control the TTL value of SMP or IP became zero, uh, then uh, SMP time exceeded the error will be thrown and uh, the full IPv6, uh, IPv6 address will be carried. This vulnerability uh, affects uh, all Linux kernel devices such as uh, Ubuntu, Android, iOS, routers, and the uh, Windows system. Uh, after successful dialing uh, use PPP or PPOE, uh, the client will obtain a 64 bit network address prefix if the device has IPv6 forwarding enabled. A net item will be added to the routing table. Added uh, uh, address will all zeros in the last 40, uh, last uh, 64 bits. Since uh, the address uh, is it, the SMP reply packet will be returned with the uh, full IPv6 address. This, uh, this risk also has a valid impact. For example, mobile phones uh, that turn on hot spot and the 4G, 5G routers and the home broadband uh, routers. Uh, this finger shows that not only devices based on Linux kernel are affected, but also Windows. Next, uh, my colleague will introduce the affected situation and how to explore it. So, what situations are affected? First, the device need obtain the prefix, prefix by dialing. Generally, there are some mobile phones at pads with the same cards, as well as GPONS at routers in broadband networks. And the operator has the target address routing table and sends the packet to the destination address. At last, the target device must have no firewall enabled. If the above points are met, Congratulations, you can conduct attack test on such devices. Uh, the, this table is an example of the equipment affected and which type of equipment is more affected. In terms of quantity, Android devices and network access uh, devices have the greatest impact. The scope of impact is very wide and many operators are affected. Because we don't have enough valid IPv6 network segments, we only tested these countries. Unfortunately, they all have problems that IPv6 address can be scanned, but except for the United States. That's why we focused that, that although we collected the real American personal IPv6 address, the, but there is no route to to these addresses. Let's look at some interesting findings. During the research of IPv6 scanning technology, we found many management pages. Some are home routing, some are NS systems, and some are portable Wi-Fi with SMS settings and receiving function. In short, there is a variety of Internet of Things devices. 
This is a waiting machine with open ADB service. Since we don't need the authentication, we can control it through the IPv6 connect IPv6 connection that screen. Of course, this problem this problem has been notified to the other party for repair. Now this is a video. This is a list of devices with high risk. How to scan and test, and which vulnerabilities to test. Please remember, don't attack just for security research. The biggest risk is to scan all zero addresses after obtaining valid IPv6 network segments. Because it affects both mobile networks and broadband, the, the largest number of devices. After analyzing its, its client application, we found a remote arbitrary fair reading vulnerability ability. The, we also recorded a video on how to test the effectiveness of this vulnerability. Now, this, uh, this vulnerability has been fixed. And also, we can also test uh, the known vulnerabilities. ES Fair Explorer is a fair manage manager application on Android. It creates IHTTP service bound to point five nine seven seven seven. We can use this vulnerability to read files remotely. The risk three has nothing to do with advice scanning, but it's also a new method to obtain IPv6 advice and set exploit code remotely. Here we introduce how to use this attack method through a practical example. Our five risks, risks are all made of ICMP equal package. So what about other types of ICMP? Researchers can analyze fast other kinds of ICMP packets to see if they can spoof them. Okay, uh, there are some suggestions. Uh, the most important one is that the firewall is enabled by default or only on the one interface, which can resist most harmful access. Um, now let's summarize. Uh, we introduced several risks to obtain complete IPv6 addresses and then how to get a large number of IPv6 addresses and uh, use these addresses to explore it. We hope that our research result can give the security researchers uh, new attack ideas and methods. Uh, of course, at last, I will uh, delete all scanned data. Okay.